El Gringo Price, 8 soles. Gringo Price, el Gringo Price es high. No, no, no. Es el sugar cane. Oh, look at that. Look at this. It's uh, Jesus. Jesus Blanco edition. Look at him. Look at him, look. He's probably about 14. He's got his own ice cream business. And he's going for it. For you. She has. She has a Bernard's Matthews turkey drum in the middle of Peru. So, um, when is the sausage and the bacon coming up? Is this it? <laughs> okay. Do you want to see what a hotel room looks like for? 40 dollars a night, or 10 US dollars. Well, let's have a look, because here's ours right here. Check this out. Look at that. Got a bed, TV, Netflix, a little uh, armoire. I don't remember what it's called. I'm not a furniture expert. Toilet, sink, electric shower, mirror, light. And a little kitchen, this little studio apartment, a little chair, so you can sit in your chair and just look at the window for fun. Uh, a llama, a collection of llamas, lions and bears, and even cocaine <laughs> for your coca tea. But don't take that back home. Tea, coffee, a little kettle, it's not bad is it? Wow, an old sewing machine converted into a table. Approved? Approved. And here's upstairs, look, we can do our laundry here. But check out the view. Look at this. It's not bad, is it? For ten dollars a night. Amazing. Hello! We are going to the market. And we're gonna start off with a little doggo. I don't know whose doggo it is. But what better way to see Cusco than see how the locals enjoy their own city? Yeah. How they live, how they uh, how they make business, how they earn money, what they eat, and uh, whatever else. Let's go. Oh. Look at that. I remember when I used to play with a ball on a string, and now all the kids have iPads and iPhones. It's a bit different, isn't it? Okay, let's go. So we're gonna head up towards the market, see what they have. I'm sure you're gonna buy some food. She always eats a lot. <laughs> and uh, yeah, see what there is to offer. Let's go. Mm. Oh. So, so, uh, how do I explain this? Okay, so countries like the UK, France, Germany, we've had a lot of mixing throughout the years. They're old countries, uh, people have been mixing from different regions, and uh, it doesn't matter if you travel 200 miles, 300 miles, you meet people with uh, similar looks, uh, similar expressions and things. But if you go to different areas of Peru, say the jungle, even Cusco, Andes, uh, people have retained their own kind of special facial features, uh, body features, things like that. Uh, because mixing hasn't really happened until more recently when we have flights, cars, buses, and things like that. So. If you look at uh, an average person from this area, you'll see the face, facial features are a lot different from someone in, say, Lima, for example. Uh, same when you go to the jungle. They have uh, different features. They look uh, quite Chinese, if that makes sense. So it is, it is quite interesting how you can see um, characteristics and features from uh, a moment in time. It's uh, something quite unique to the area, 
And it's very interesting too. Practical. Okay, let's continue. Look at that, you got your spring onions there. Look. Wow, grand power. Oh. You'll notice the roads, they're made of a lot of uh, brick. It's a very old city. And there'll be lots of corridors and various things with their bricked roads, bricked walls. And they say some of the bricks are here from the Inca times. So uh, we have a hobby. We do a lot of dance gaming. It's actually taken us all around the world, many different countries. And uh, we already, we've already met the owner before through other people in different countries. So it's nice to arrive in Cusco and already know people you've never met before. It's a, a crazy weird hobby. Um, but it's one of those things where you can travel to any country and you will know somebody and you can you know, become instant friends. So, we have a couple of friends that live here. They've lived here all their life. And they're gonna show us a restaurant, a good restaurant. I think they serve cooey as well, you know, roasted guinea pig. But uh, I'm going to take you on a walk while I follow them. They're all speaking advanced Spanish, so uh, I'm chilling at the back uh, and I'm going to chill with you guys. But uh, yeah, you can see the streets. Look at that. Look at that. You see this a lot in Lima. People charge a few cents just to weigh themselves. Some people have analog scales and they have digital scales. They can pick which one you want. But uh, just like Lima, just like any other place too, it's a bustling economy. People are selling things. People are crawling on their hands and knees. But um, the end goal, survive. Everyone has to survive. And in today's world, you need money. You need a business. You need a way to earn, pay for your rent, pay for your food. It is what it is. A lot of people, they sell a lot of fruit. Because uh, a lot of the places around here, they uh, grow papayas, bananas, local fruits. Really cheap to grow and easy to sell. But you'll see fruit vendors pretty much everywhere. And what you'll also see, oh, quail eggs. See a lot of quail eggs in Lima too. Have a look there. I think you get five of them for one sole. 25 cents. Very cheap. Very good too. Nice with a bit of salt. <coughs> so we're not too far from the uh, historic district. Maybe five, a five minute walk. But you can see how the atmosphere changes quite quickly. Oh, Don Gato. Yeah. So do you remember the cartoon Top Cut? Look, I don't know if you can see that from here. Don Gatto. That's the Latino Top Cat, Don Gatto. Yeah. It's funny, isn't it? We were talking about that yesterday as well. And uh, da uh, Daffy Duck is Pato Lucas. Pato Lucas. They all have different names. Apart from Tom and Jerry. That cat has a friend, smaller friend. Top Cat? Yeah. Oh. I only remember Officer Dibble, is it? Uh, Top Cat and Officer Dibble. I haven't seen it for a really long time. We're trying to work out Top Cat's friend, but I can't remember. Benito. Benito. So, again, you see this in Lima too. Guys on makeshift bicycles selling things. Look. What's he selling? Oh, look at that. Okay. His little uh, makeshift uh, motorbike. What they do is weld a frame to it with a welder. You can take it into any shop. And then, presto, you have a motorbike uh, vendor club. And it's not like in the UK where you need an MOT. They check the car for everything. It's welded on and go. Pretty easy. But yeah, some of these vendors, um, I don't know if you've been to Paris or places like that. They have the ropes on the edges, like little ropes. So when the police come or whoever looks up to trading, 
they can quickly pull the ropes and run away with their sack of goods. So it's to make a quick getaway. Is this bamboo? Is this bamboo? That's bamboo? No, sugar cane. Yeah, this is sugar cane. Oh, look at that. Look at this uh, papaya. It's like the size of a bowling ball. Oh, okay. So, uh, yes, I've seen sugar cane. You know, when we walked to Hydro Electrica, mm -hmm. is, do you remember all the sugar cane? Mm -hmm. oh. So, we're gonna try some sugar cane. You go first. Yeah? Oh. <laughs> so, we don't swallow it, we just take the sugar from it. How much is this? One sol fifty. It's around thirty-five cents. It's nice. You know when you're younger and you wet your finger and put it in the sugar jar and eat it? It's just like that. And it's fresh too. Bueno? Bien? See? Oh. Okay, yeah. Shifa. <laughs> no Shifa, no? Oh. Gracias. Wow. Can you ask her what this is? What is this made of? Oh, Chicha Blanca. Chicha Blanca. Quinoa. It says quinoa. It's quinoa. Oh. Approved. Oh. Oh. Chicha Blanca. Can you get this in Lima? Chicha Blanca. I'm eating my sugar cane. I'm drinking Chicha Blanca. What's on top? Cinnamon? What is that? I think it's cinnamon. 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 Oh, take it all in. Look at that. Chicharron. Hello, prickly pear from cactus. Chicharron. Oh, bien, bien. Chicharron. Fried pork. Pig skins. Pork crackling. Whatever you want to call it. Looks nice. I remember when we were younger, we used to go to the pub. Uh, with our parents when we're 16 we get a shandy which is half beer half lemonade you know because you're 15 uh, and then you get a bag of pork scratches and the best ones were the ones with the with the hair on them with the stamp with the red butcher stamp and she so had them back there brought back a lot of memories so oh he's selling combs look comb for your hair wow. Look at the old buildings. You can see uh, almost every house has a little balcony. That one says 1919 on it. Oh, they have a lot of chocolates here. A lot of coffee, strong coffee. But also a lot of uh, dark chocolate, like 70%. Really good. Wow. Oh, is this the good ice cream? Look at that. Oh, mixed up. Look at him, look. He's probably about 14. He's got his own ice cream business. And he's going for it. People I know who are 14, playing video games. They don't know how to, you know. Oh, gracias. Una vainilla. Tres horas. ¿Cuánto vainilla? The ice cream is very different. It's not like the cheap chocolate. I'm not saying everything's amazing. Honestly, I'm giving an unbiased opinion, but this is, uh, it's really sweet, but um, it's like real chocolate. It's not that fluffed up, um, you know, crap you get from the pound shop. Approved. Oh. All right then, we're back. It's a little market here. 
There's pretty much a market everywhere. There's a more organized market. Too. Look at that. Wow. San Pedro. What is that? No. I saw this in Lima Central. Look. I saw this in Lima Central. They eat all the lettuce to flush the toxins out, and you can cook the snail. But I think she's just selling the snail cream. The snail cream. Snail. You know? Oh, they're telling her not to sell around here. You know, I thought there'd be more tourists in the center. Maybe they're all hiding in the historic district. Uh, but for me, that's good. It's nice to be surrounded by... Uh, oh, look at that. More local things. Okay. Where's the cooey? Oh, it's the 25 solos, yes, the barbecue. And for the barbecue, yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Don't eat me. Oh, the llama. Look at the markets. Look at these. It's nice. So, look around, look at these. Look at that mask. Oh, the orange mask. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. So, I was saying in an earlier video, you have to be a little careful because when you see the alpaca stuff, it could be uh, mixed with uh, llama, not as soft. But oh, you want the gloves, not me. So. <laughs> you make the decision if you want the gloves for 10 solos. Is this uh, alpaca? Llama? No, synthetic. It's synthetic. It's not mixed chino. with... Uh, oh, chino? No? No, 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 it's oh, no, no, chino. Okay. But the mix here is with uh, acrylic. Okay. Acrylic a little alpaca. Uh, ¿Cuánto es? ¿10? 10. Siete. One pure alpaca te cuesta, pues. Siete solos. Siete? No. No, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. Ocho. Ocho soles. Ocho soles, let's go. El gringo price. Ocho soles. El gringo price. El gringo price is high. No, no, no. El gringo price is different. Ellos me están pidiendo descuento de otro. No, a Chris Kenyan price. Chris Kenyan price. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Gringo. No, no, you want? Okay, we come back. <laughs> okay. She keeps complaining she's hungry. No, Thank you. Wow. The uh, discounts are hard. It's a hard sale. You heard it here first. The gringo price is higher. Wow. <coughs> Look at that Peru. Oh. Oh, look, jelly frappe, look. I bet that frappe is cheaper than Starbucks. How much is a Starbucks frappe now? Like $8, I don't know. Oh, look at him. Little face. Oh. Wow, look at this. So, she said no chino, but it is synthetic. Really? No. Is it verdad? Is it an alpaca? Oh, it's soft. Real alpaca. But they have glass eyes. It's a marble in the eye. It's not the... Yeah, wow. It's real. A real baby alpaca. Oh, I'm dizzy now. Wow, look at these, look. I saw this in Turkey. You can choose whatever you want. And... Yeah, they weigh it, but they have lots of different things. You don't have to buy a big bag. You can get like, you know, a few grams of each one. But in Turkey, they did it with the spices, like cinnamon, cardamom, spices, curry, things like that. But um, I might have to get some of those in a minute. But we're on a, we're on a food hunt. Oh. oh, look at these. 
Oh, we saw this in a different one. She said, some lady said that was a, a meteorite. It's not a meteorite, but she said it was. Wow, piquito, pollo, piquito pollo. Pequeñito, wow. no pollo. Oh, no, no, no toca. It's pequeño frango. Pequi oh, <laughs> mini chicken. Oh, look at that. Wow. So, you can get anything here. Oh look, Peru. Market Peru. You know, a video is not complete without a Peru. Oh, she's sleeping, look. She's sleeping on the job. But look, you see, you can get your flowers, your sugars, your oats. Oh, look at the corn, chocolate, lots of things. No, look at this. Do you, do, you know, do you know Sora? No? This is gelatina de patita. Yeah? Oh, that's the gelatin from the... No! Can... It's a collagen natural. You cook with that, no? You don't... Uh, no? <laughs> no! You eat the gelatin? No, no, he said no, he said I no. I don't like it. No, he said he don't like it. But some people eat that maybe, like that. Maybe you like... No, 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 no. <laughs> that's the gelatin <laughs> from the animal. And people eat it with a spoon. Look, someone did, look. Unbelievable. Wow. Look at that. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, hey, there's the dog look. There's a budget lassie look. Kiskinian lassie. Very hungry lassie. Okay, let's get some food. How much is food here? Caldo gaina, 14 soles. So per chicken soup, 8 soles. It's around 2 dollars. It's not bad. Usually when you get a soup in Peru, and that's pretty much everywhere, it's huge. The bowl is huge. So if you ever get a meal with a soup, then you're gonna be full before your uh, entree arrives. Wow. So let's see. Maca, chocolate. So. Wow. Look at all the different corns, look. There's a normal corn we know. Then there's one with black and yellow. The Inca corn. Lots of corns. Corn crazy, corn loco. Wow. Look at this. What's, oh, look at this. Look at that, look at his nose, look. Oh, that's a penis, look. Penis mask. Penis mask surrounded by vegetables. A little bit different. Okay. Oh, more food. Oh, this food looks wild. This food looks wild. We got chickens. I, I love how they have chicken on the cauliflower. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Hi, chicken. Hi, chicken. If, if uh, me amigo like, then sure, they <laughs> just blame the friends. Wow. Okay, it's getting cheaper down here. This is the cheap area. Wow. Have a look around. Look at that. Seven soles. Looks pretty good. I like how the chefs are uh, bartering. It's great. They're coming out of the kitchen, they're saying, come try our soup. I made it this morning. It's amazing. I suppose in a way it's good because they can tell you exactly what's in there. The spices, everything. Okay. Oh, look at that. You can get a whole menu for seven solos. It's so cheap. So you get beef, rice, vegetables, soup, all for seven solos. That's less than two dollars. It's amazing, isn't it? And there's a main look. Look how big it is. And look how big that soup is. Wow. Oh. Okay. 
You know when a dog takes a poo, it, um, it needs to find the perfect spot. It w runs around in circles. It's like, eh, might poo here, probably won't. That's like my friends when they go to find something to eat. They're like, hmm, it's not the perfect spot. But maybe this is. But what I heard was, if you're not sure about the quality of the food, find where it's busy. Find where everybody is eating and eat there. That's, uh, that seems to be the thing that a lot of people do. Not when just eating in a restaurant, but also like buying vegetables at the market and things like that. So yeah, it's busy, maybe you have to wait a little longer. But you know, um, there's not much wrong with your food, you know. So, little tip. So, there's a, there's a bit of a debate with the chef. There's a bit of a debate with the chef. I'm not sure why, but I'll be given the English version soon. Uh, maybe they want to make sure uh, everything is above board. Everything's in order. And you're gonna get the best uh, chicken breast, the best soup, the best everything. I'm not sure. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Look at my soup. After all that discussion, I have a noodle soup with some fries in it. Different, isn't it? And you can put this in your soup. It's like red onion with uh, chili and things like that. You can add it in, a bit of a topping. And what did you get? What's this one called? Okay, she's ignoring me. But I think... Chaque. It looks like a stew of some sort. Chaido? Chaido. Chaido. Chaido with beef, carne, pollo? No. No? What's in it? What's it made of? Chunyo. Chunyo? Chunyo. What's chunyo? Chunyo. What is chunyo? Trigo. Trigo. What's trigo? I, I don't think you know what it is. She's eating soup. Trigo. What is that? Trigo. It's meat or no? No. Okay. Vegetable soup. So, look how quiet everyone is now. They were really loud before, and now it's silence. No. Silencio. Silencio. Because everyone has their comida. So over there we have, is that pescado or chicken? Chicken. Okay, so Joe has chicken. And that one? Oh, that one is tru truja? Trusha, no? What's that one? I had that yesterday, no? No, no, that, the sauce. Salsa. Tarawi. Tarawi, okay. Sparring sauce. And you have... Pollo. She has, she has a Bernard's Matthews turkey drum in the middle of Peru. She's making my lomo saltado, look, look at that. Okay, I have chuleta. It's a pork. Look, a nice pork steak sitting on some fries, some rice, a little bit of salad, a bit of ensalada. That's nice, isn't it? Not bad. And I had my soup and this for $1.75. Can't beat it. <laughs> okay, so we've just had food in the market. How is your food, Joe? Good? Was your chicken good, yeah? Good. <laughs> oh, look at that. Alien. Ooh, apple. Ooh, apple. Get those. Wow. Who knows what kind of roots and things these are for. Look at that. I bet all those herbs do something. Maybe help with sleep, pain, all kinds of things. Everyone has a herbal remedy. Usually about 50. Isn't that right? What is that? Huh? Oh, that's that dog again from the market then. Hey, market dogger. No. Hey, market dogger. No, what is that? What is that? What is it for? I don't know. It's a mystery. Look at these, like daisies. 
Coca? Oh, we know that, that one is. What's this one? Is this a bag of rocks? <laughs> oh, for gastritis. Oh. Wow. She has uh, stones in there. There's um, onyx stones, I think they're called. I know nothing about stones. But yeah, people are a bit. Uh, is it superstitious when you know about rocks and minerals? And I don't know. Interesting. <laughs> She's uh, being sold on the gastritis stones. It would be funny if she got the stones from her driveway yesterday. Scoop them up, move the car out of the way, put them in a little baggie. And they're good for gastritis. <laughs> what do you do? Eat them? Okay, so apparently... Apparently you rub it over your legs. <laughs> what? So, we've just bought some of that green goo. Uh, hopefully it helps with my Machu Picchu leg. I think that's a real syndrome. Machu Picchu leg. I'm walking like Bambi from, uh, you know, you know the Disney movie Bambi. Uh, cruffling along a bit. We have our green goo. We'll have a massage later with that and see what happens. Look at that. Yeah, they have the strings, look. Strings packed and ready to go, just in case they get in trouble. Yeah, your Nike is, yeah, Abby Bass. She's ready to run, look. She's ready to run. She's gonna run away when they come for her. Oh. Let's have a look around. Look at this. Whoa. I'm running. I have Machu Picchu leg, it's hard to run. Wow. He has a theodolite look. He's surveying something. Yeah, look at that. This fruit? I don't... What's this called again? What is it called? Jeremoya. So, the fruit is really nice, but it's so hard to get all the seeds out. That's Lukama. Oh yeah, Lukama. Oh my god, look at that street. Oh, let's have a little look. Look at that. One dollar per kilo mango. Three dollars a kilo. Look at this. It's like a... What is this? Melon. That is not a melon. Oh, melon. Oh, looks interesting. Look at this. Oh, the piquito platano. Look at the fruit. Look at the floor. Look at everything. It's amazing. Look at that. What? Pepino. Sweet cucumber. Sweet cucumber. Really? Pepino. Cute. That is not cucumber. No. 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 I mean, it's pepino. Pepino. A different pepino. Oh. But look at that. So, a lot of people have these mini gas cookers. Look, they connect a gas canister to them and then they cook on them. It's like a cheap way of having uh, two gas hobs at home. But you can see they have a lot of them in the shops. And that way, you don't have to buy a full cooker. Full cookers are expensive. So, yeah, less people use the oven, especially maybe in areas like this. Uh, but a lot of people cook with gas. And gas is plentiful. There's lots of gas shops everywhere where you can get your propane and whatnot. There's even some there. Wow. Let's look. look at that. Look at my hand in comparison. How much soup could you make? How much soap? Potatoes, potatoes and peppers. Look at the. Is that for tea? Pretty cool. Dog in a bag. There's lots of dogs in lots of bags. <laughs> so, Cusco Main Square. 
and we're about to go here next. Look at him. A little Jesus in the mountains. Let's go. Okay, this bus is for the Blanco Jesus. Christ Redeemer. Look at the skills of getting on the bus. You just hit it. Okay. Maybe we need to hit it hard. Yay! Yeah, the bus driver does not wait around. You want to get on here fast. Yeah! Yeah! What's the leg room like? Oh, the leg room's tight. We're gonna see Jesus. Jesus. So you may be wondering, why are we in a muddy forest? Why is there a wheat field there? All will be revealed. Hello? A bit different from the city, isn't it? Look at this, Cusco Valley. Now oh, Cusco Valley, lots and lots of years ago. You know, perhaps even a million years ago. Oh, there's a stadium, look. This was once a lake. A lake which has long since dried up, but the lake left the soil fertile. Fertile for crops, vegetation, anything you want to grow. Like all those bananas and oranges we saw earlier. Which made it a great place. A great place for growing. A great place for farming. A great place for survival. And look, there's the main square, Plaza de Armas. Also known as Weapons Square. Or just Cusco Main Square. And there's the cathedral. It's good, isn't it? It's uh, Jesus. Jesus Blanco edition. Look at him. And where is he looking? Wow. He's looking down on Cusco. Blessing the residents with his presence, wishing them uh, good tidings of humble and joy. Humble and joy? I don't remember the words anymore. But look, any chance there's a market? Oh, comfort and joy, that's it, I'm stupid. So, what do you think of old Jesus? He's white. Yeah, I like how you're dressed for the occasion. Ah, you planned ahead. See, I didn't plan ahead, I have blue and grey. You look like a regular Jesus female edition. <laughs> but yes, look, look at all the souvenirs. We can even start our own Peruvian band, look with these. Look at that Cusco hat. Whoa. Oh, look at the... Inca cheese. Oh, Inca cheese. Oh, Inca cheese grande. Wow, look at that. Look at that. That's a kena. Got my hush back. Oh, is that like a flute or a recorder or something? Uh, you see a lot of materials made of this. I think it's for luck or something. Excelente. Oh. Is that a mouse? Oh, it's a guinea. It's a gooey. But yes, look. Stalls go all the way along. All the way along to Old Jesus. And can you see the llama? It's probably an alpaca. Is that an alpaca or a llama? Llama or alpaca? Ah, sí. No sé. No sé? Yama. Yama. It's a yama. It's a little yama. Look. How much is it? 25 soles. 25? 25. No? No. Fatimami. 35 mami. Hay negrito, hay blanquito, hay plomito. Hay tenemos poncho. I don't think they know how to barter here. I'm gonna do it. He looks hungry. Yeah. Yama. Yama. <laughs> I like how a guy just appeared. But just down from uh, old Jesus here. Look at this. I think it's a temple. Sexy woman. I'm sure I said that very wrong. It sounds like sexy woman, doesn't it? But over there, look in the distance. All of that there. 
Ah. See, the Incas, very good with masonry. Masonry? Mason workers? It's one of those words, isn't it? But you see how the rocks are just almost perfectly carved. And at those times, without specialist equipment, very difficult. So you can see how skilled they were as laborers with masonry. Amazing, really. So here we are. We just crossed the bridge. The sun is not on our side, it's just going down. And it's only 4.39, so quite early. But uh, yeah, our friends, they're from here. They can get in for free, buggers. So uh, they're gonna say I'm from Cajamarca. What do you think? People from Cajamarca, they have rosy cheeks. And uh, a lot of people in Peru, they say they look like El Gringo. So, today, for the next two minutes, I'm from Cajamarca. And if you want to know some fact about Cajamarca, it's where the Battle of Cajamarca took place. The great Inca leader, Ahu Salpa, how do you pronounce it? Atahualpa. 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 He was kidnapped by Mr. Francisco Pizarro himself at the Battle of Cajamarca. And that's where the whole Battle of Cusco took place. It was like a precedent thing that took place first. A bit of fact about Cajamarca. And it's in the north. So look at this. So this is Inca masonry. From Inca? Yeah? How do they make this? Without machinery? No? But there are tour guides, no? There are tour guides. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Our tour guides are broken right now. Our tour, tour guides are rebooting the system. Okay. Nobody knows. It's a mystery. I have actually found that a lot, actually. A lot of the history here. No one knows. <laughs> I mean, it's to be expected, right? You go back a certain point in period. Take the UK, for example. We can trace the royal family back lots of years. Lots and lots of years. But uh, what about before that? What about the, the farmers? Where my family is from? I only know who my great granddad is. What about before that? Oh, history. Written by the winners. Written by the royals. The rich, the famous. The people that build the walls, well, we only know what we read, what we get passed by word of mouth throughout the centuries, you know. So it's no surprise, not many people know. Look in the distance there, on the mountain. El Peru, I don't know if you can see that. El Peru. So, uh, look at this. It's a fat cat. Well, not really fat, it's like stocky. It's a muscular cat. So what are they selling? Look, corn. Corn with cheese, look. Chocolate. It's like Inca corn, big kernels. Look at that. Mmm. Oh, amber. Tengo amber. Yeah, so there's where we were, look. Park Archaeologico di Sasco. Oh, Sasco Wine. Sexy Woman. We'll just call it Sexy Woman, but it's easier to say. Hello, Pero. Hola, Pero. Hola, Peruito. Hola. Oh. Wait. Hey. What? What? Bueno más. Vendo chocolate con queso, parato, parato. Cinco soles. Cuatro. No, cinco. No, gringo price. Cuatro soles. Sí. Parato, pasa, pasa, pasa. Mexicano. How much? Pesale, pesale, pesale. Bye, bye. Cuatro soles. Parato, parato. <laughs> Look at the views. Look. I mean, there's Jesus up there where we were before. We just come a nice walk down, try to sell some corn for her, and then 
Yeah, look at these views. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, and that's Cusco Perro. That's Cusco Perro, right there. And there's the main square. Oh, right there. It's not really that far, is it? That's the cathedral, and there's the church. Two religious ceremonies in one little plaza, the Amas. Oh. <laughs> Look at the cobbled streets. Reminds me of Bristol. Bristol in the UK. There's a cat. Hello, gato. Kai oh. siete burritos. I'm sure I said that wrong. Wow, look at this. It's like a Latino. Um, what's that Greek island called? Oh, I can't think of it now, so my point's gone, isn't it? Wow. It's amazing, isn't it? So, have you ever played Zelda? You walk along and you see something like that. You know there's something on the other side. You know you've got to put a little bomb on on them, a little a little bomb on there, and find out what's underneath. I mean, look at it. Look at every square, and then look at that one. Check this out. It's not a bad place for a swim, is it? Looks like it hasn't been in use, well, in use for a few years, but wow. ¿Cómo bajas por allá? Por allá. ¿Por dónde se bajan? Por allá. ¿Miren si todo? ¿Por ustedes no me dirían? Por acá se bajan. So you see a lot of this in European cities as well, but you see these stones here. A lot of the original stones, lots and lots of years ago. And if you want to, you know, remodel your house, your your hotel, whatever it is, you have to leave those intact. You can't remove them. They're protected. Just like when you see McDonald's in London, it has just like glass bits uh, on the Victorian uh, stones and bricks and things. So yes, yeah, it's quite interesting, and it's quite good they're preserving the history as well. Here's one of those balconies, look, one of those Spanish-style balconies that you see in uh, the main square of Lima, Cusco, places like that. It's quite nice, isn't it? And some have been newly remodeled down there. Okay, look at these some, uh, look at these avenues here, these alleyways in old Cusco. It's really nice at night time because they, they all light up with warm lighting. Look at these. I think we're approaching the, what is it called? Seven brick something? You know what I think? The brick we're looking for. You know, I think that is it. Here it is, look. This is the famous brick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I don't know. Wow, look at that. So, you can see how famous the stone is. And what a lot of people do, they come out their shop, offer to take a picture for you, and then they call you in their shop and say, buy my stuff. But, it's a 12-sided stone. Very hard to do without machinery. Clever Incas, clever Incas. Look what they mix in with the cement or mud. Hey, look. Hey. Wow. Ah, uh, cocoa. Uno de coco, por favor. Look at this. Look. Even have one with pisco. It's alcoholic beverage. But uh, yeah, it's quite cold right now. Hands are quite numb, so we're going to get a hot drink. And where is this? Just at the side of the road, the side of the street. Coco, coco. Oh, yes. Emergency coco. Me quema! Gracias. Ooh, okay. 
bueno. I asked the guy to put some pisco in it. And now it's pink. It looks like cough medicine. But I think he went a bit crazy with it because it's bloody strong. Cheers. Salud. They're the people you take a picture with the little llama, little alpaca. Give them maybe five or ten soles. And a nice little llama, isn't it? Look at him. <laughs> oh, there's two. Is that a sheep? That one looks like a sheep, little lamb. Have you ever seen this before? You go to a movie theater and they sell popcorn outside. They all sell their own popcorn. And I guess you buy it, then, then take it in. That's weird, no. But look, all different flavors. Green, yellow, brown, caramel, salted. Different, isn't it? So, there's tea time. If you don't know what tea time is, it means dinner time at night time. Uh, we're in a little cafe. We're having the menu. The seven solas again. And we have chicken soup with big pasta tubes. And you're about to see the main. Morale is at an all time low. There's low morale. We've been walking all day. Straight up to Machu Picchu as well. And a lovely seven hour car ride. But check it out. Cubanita? Cubana? Cubana. Two long banana pieces fried up with an egg on a bit of rice. Not bad, is it? I got my loma. Bit of beef, bit of onions, bit of fries. Approved. One thing you'll notice. <laughs> Usually when it's too late. It's how bad toilets flush in Latin America. You put one little towel in there. You put all the toilet paper there. Well, where else am I going to put the toilet paper? That was new. <laughs> Calm down. Because you made this. Simmer down. Thicken the soup. Unbelievable.